Hampton Roads, a police officer dragged during a traffic stop has died. In just a few hours, we're expecting to learn new information about what led to her death from the Newport News police chief. That's where we find these reporter Samantha German live outside of police headquarters where the chief will speak later this morning. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Jessica. It really is just tragic news to report on this morning. And now, of course, we're hearing from all of the different police departments throughout Hampton Roads, including state police, all now mourning together. So police are telling us that it happened around 645 last night. An officer was conducting a traffic stop on a vehicle on 16th Street. At some point during that encounter, the driver who was stopped accelerated, dragging the, the police officer. Now, the vehicle fled the scene and crashed nearby into the area of 16th Street and Walnut Avenue. The driver, who has not yet been identified, was immediately taken into police custody after the crash. The officer who was dragged suffered multiple injuries and was taken to the hospital but did not survive. So this morning, Chief Steve Drew, uh, he's expected to speak with us around 10 o'clock this morning. We will have a crew inside of that room bringing you all the latest details. We will also be streaming that press conference live, and that will be on our website at WTKR.com. Live here in the city of Newport News, Samantha Derman, News Three. Sam, thank you. The Pocosin Police Department, one of many this morning, tweeting in solidarity, saying our thoughts and prayers are with our brothers and sisters in the Newport News PD with the passing of one of their officers. Virginia Beach Police Officers uh, also tweeting out their thoughts and prayers to Newport News, and there is more. Neighboring Hampton Police also reaching out on social media mourning this devastating loss. The department in Portsmouth hashtagging Thin Blue Line in their condolences. And again,